Hello. Today I'm going to prove that the series, if you if you add the numbers from one, two, three, four, and so on up to infinity, the final answer you get is negative one or twelve. Now how is that possible? I'm going to prove that. Now in one of the string theories it states that Sigma n is equal to 1 up to infinity is equal to 91 over 12. So that will be proved in a while now. I'll take three sums. The first sum I'll call it S1. I'll have 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 and so on. The second sum I have is 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 and so on. The third sum is the main sum that we are interested in is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and so on. Now I'll take this sum first. S1. 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 and so on. So if you stop here, you get the answer as 1. If you go here, you get the answer as 0. 1, 0. So we don't know which number to take. So we just take the average. That is, the answer is half. So S1 is half. Now moving on. S2. What I'm doing with S2 is simply multiply it by 2 and shift one digit to the right. So it will be something like this. 2 times S2. I like this equation S2. 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 plus and so on. The other one I've added and shift one digit to the right. So it will be 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 and so on. So what do we get? 1 plus 2 1. Negative 2 plus 1. Negative 1. 3 plus minus 2. 1. Negative 1. 1. Negative 1. So this is what we get. Now, this is the exact equation, the exact sum that we have here, S1. So, we know the answer. The answer to that is half. So I can say 2S2 is equal to I'll just try and get rid of this 2 here. I, I'll just I'll keep this S2 here. So I'll just divide by 2 and divide by 2. So what do I get is let's do it over here. S2 is equals to half divided by 2. I'll get a quarter. So we have S1 as half, S2 as a quarter. Now moving on, I'll do S minus S2. So S minus S2. S is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 7. S2. Two, seven, two, the break it here and I'll put S2 in here. S2 is 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus and so on. So the answer we get here is 1 minus 1, 0. 2 minus minus 2, 4. 3 minus 3, 0. 2 minus minus 4, plus 8, plus 0, plus 12. And we we'll continue. 4, 8, 12. So I would say the common factor out is 4. 4 into 
1 plus 2 plus 3 because 4 times 2 will give you 8, 4 times 3 will give you 12, and so on. This series will continue, and so will the series. So what you have inside the bracket is the sum s, 1 plus 2 plus 3, the same thing here. So we can say 4s is the same thing as 4s. Now what I'll do is, I'll just go back to my uh, idea here, s minus s2. So s minus s2 is equal to 4s. Since we found out that s2 is a quadrant, I'll substitute that quadrant into this equation. So we'll have s minus a quadrant is equal to 4x. I'll try and get rid of this s here. So minus s minus s. We have negative quarter is equal to 3s. 4s minus s, we have 3s here. Now I'll just get rid of this 3 here. So divided by 3 and divided by 3. Now, negative quarter divided by 3. This 3 and 3 cancels out. We are left with s is equal to negative quarter divided by 3. Negative 1 over 12. And s is this equation right here. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. Thus, we have proved that the continuous series of addition of these numbers up till infinity will keep on going. The final answer we get is negative 1 over 12.